Doesn't look like winter here, but the beautiful day is about to give way to, yes, folks, another storm <laughs> system. <laughs> yeah, this time tomorrow, those blue skies will be gone. KCAL's Ospina, Olga Ospina, rather, with our storm timeline and next weather forecast. So, Olga, is this another atmospheric river event? You know, we're actually seeing this area of low pressure dropping down from the Gulf of Alaska, but we're also tapping into the atmospheric river. It's going to be a weaker one, not one that has brought us so much rain. So, we're still looking at more light to moderate amounts of rain, but want to show you uh, because the storm has really intensified pretty quickly. Numbers outside, we are still in the 70s. And yes, we're talking about Northern California getting that snow. We're seeing some snow out there and some wet weather as well. For us here at home, it is still dry. We've, of course, enjoyed some sunshine today. And I want to show you also this satellite image because you can see that storm sitting just off the Pacific. And this storm, look at that, very well defined. This is a bomb cyclone, which means it's a storm that has strengthened very quickly. Uh, to be exact, 19 millibar pressure drop in 24 hours. So that makes a bomb cyclone. And this is a result of cold and warm air mass collision. This is the third bomb cyclone this season already, so we can continue with the severe weather. Here's a look at what we're expecting as far as totals. For the most part, it's going to be on the light to moderate side on Tuesday into Wednesday morning, and then we have a second wave moving in. This one's going to bring a little bit more instability, and this will be Wednesday evening into the early part of Thursday. That's when we're expecting more of that snow to impact some of those mountain passes. So levels lowering down to about 3,500, 4,000 feet. If you travel through places like the Grapevine, you could be feeling those impacts with snow, with some delays potentially as well. The Cajon Pass and really any kind of major mountain highway could experience those delays or closures. So we'll continue posting you on road conditions and, of course, the weather. So here's a look at the next storm index and really kind of the biggest impacts are going to be the rain and the snow. We're also going to be tracking some winds moving in and because we're going to see more instability as we head into late Wednesday, early Thursday. Thursday, we could see some thunderstorm activity uh, being triggered, and we're going to be watching that very carefully as well because, of course, that could mean some hail, some heavy downpours. And as we saw last week, we are not ruling out any kind of tornadic activity. So we will be watching that very closely. The good news here is this is going to be a Wednesday, Thursday event. And look at what happens by the weekend. Yes, we are going to be drying out. So just hang in there for a couple more days because we have that rain. Again, that is making its way south into our area by late tonight. Really more around 11 midnight. We'll start to feel some of that rain across Ventura County and then continuing to spread across all of our region in the overnight hours. Thursday morning, this is going to be your morning commute. We're all going to be feeling that rain and continuing to impact us throughout much of the day by late Thursday into Friday. We are drying out, so I will show you that seven day forecast coming up in just a few minutes. Back to you guys. All right. See you then, Olga.